What's up, guys? We're back. Kick back. Kick mom plan dates five guys for a daughter. And wow, mom looks like an hourglass. She does. Uh, let's get to it. I'm originally from Jersey, from the East Coast. I wish I grew up in that culture, New York and New Jersey. Well, listen, I could, I could, I could for sure take you out there. You know what I'm saying? That's the mother's. <laughs> I, mother. And I know who I'm talking to. What number is that? One, okay, one is going to cause some issues, I can already tell. Hey. <laughs> cause some issues, it means me and you are, okay. Okay, good. I'm Tamaya, this is my mom, Kimberly. She goes by Kim. Hi, I'm the mother. <laughs> I know her type. Piss up. Y'all have some little people. She's yeah. not gonna like them. Um, I like um, tall guys. She likes tall guys. Really, as I'm, you know, I've gotten older, I'm not so stuck on the height. It's how they treat you. And what do you think about the last Why guy? Why are you still dated? dating? I guess just that one. <laughs> she didn't like him because he didn't refer to her as Miss Kim, and she's very kind of by the book with that. So, yeah, he was just like, hey, Kim. And she was like, no, no hey, Kim. Miss Kim. How excited are you to play a part in your daughter's fine. dating life today? Oh, fine. I'm excited. I'm excited. If someone over there looks like Idris Elba, he's gonna be mine. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> I'm just saying. No, you're not joking. Like you. you should make yourself very embarrassed. <laughs> well, I'm the mom. I'm Kimberly. Just call me Miss Kimberly. Do not call me Kim or Kimberly. All right, and I'm Tamaya. How do you feel about her ability to pick the best guy for you? I'm gonna give it like a six out of ten. Damn. I'm confident. <laughs> I'm just not sure. Six out of ten, but maybe that'll change throughout the video. Contestant okay. number five, um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm Rashawn. I'm from California. He sounds like I'm me. A content he sounds like creator. a full grown man. <laughs> Why does he yep, have his chip on his cap? All right, um, let's go to number four. four. Uh, my name's Ty. Uh, I went to ASU as well. Uh, graduated, and uh, now I work in sales. Three. Why does he have this uh, I'm, Chaz. I'm a full time graphic designer and business owner. I do clothes for UFC fighters. I'm from Cali. Two. My name's Kenny. I'm also from Cali. I manage a software development team and I also graduated from ASU. Number one, let's see if you're number one. <laughs> so, my name's Herb. I'm originally from Jersey, from the East Coast. Um, I'm also a content creator and uh, yeah, I'm also black, so there's that. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Just wanted to put that out there. There's several uh, California dreamers over there, so. Look at the white guy. Just wanted to put that out there. There's several uh, California dreamers over fun. there, so I'm gonna be concerned about them. Yeah. I saw you. And kinda... East Coast all day long. I oh, have a yeah, lot of friends sure. now that oh, yeah. live on the East Coast. I already and got I this just... in the back. I wish I grew up in that culture, New York and New Jersey. It's like. Where'd you grow up? I grew up out here in Phoenix, Arizona, but I've met so many people that are from the Bronx, who are boogie down Bronx, and. Well, listen, I could, I could, I could for sure take you out there. You know what I'm saying? That's the mother's. <laughs> I, the mother. And I know who I'm talking to. <laughs> <laughs> look at, He's like, look at where he put the mic. Yeah. The mic is on his cap. Yeah. Even the, even the, the first guy. He talked to. <laughs> I, the and, even the first guy. And. And I know who I'm talking to. What number is that? <laughs> One, no, okay, okay, one is going to cause some issues, I can already tell. <laughs> Where did your name again? Oh, wait, yeah. Is it, was it Rashawn? Kevin? Oh, Kevin. Is it Kevin number one? Hell no. Where are you well, getting Kevin from? Black. <laughs> is anybody's name Kevin here? I'm Kenny. Like Kevin Hart? Kev yeah, yeah. Welcome no, hell Hart. no. Stop it's it. It's Herb. Uh, my name is, uh, my name's Herb, okay? Don't forget it. I'm only oh. going to say it once more. Said, don't forget it. Yeah, don't That's forget it. Man. That's a man. That's a man. Be respectful. All right. So, I'm not starting with one. Let's start with five again. So, Damn. number five, what is your red flag with a female woman that you're interested in? For me, one like, I get bored quick. Like, so if you don't got no personality, I'm gonna kick you to the door. She's gonna be mad at me. What's your sign? Cancer. Cancer, okay. Hmm. All right, baby. <laughs> They're emotional. All right, and then number four, what would you say your red flag is with the woman? For me, probably I talk too much. I like the attention. You talk too much. Okay, what's your horoscope sign? Uh, I'm a Gemini. You're a Gemini. You're a Gemini. I mean, that's good. No, because yeah. as long as they're talking. As long as I can get a word in as well. Yes. So, well, while we're talking. It has to be tennis, back yeah. and forth. All right, number three, red flag for women. Uh, 
red flag in a woman, she's not smart. You. Oh, for me, oh, wow, joke's on me, right? <laughs> for me, I guess I think I'm smarter than everybody. And I'm gonna fall back on the horoscope too, again. Not that it matters, because it doesn't mean anything, but I was born in May, so I guess that makes me a Taurus. But horoscopes okay. aren't real, though. Okay. All right, and now we're at two, right? My red flag I, is that I can talk to anyone in the room so I can be seen as a natural flirt. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, what's your sign? Aries. Aries. Okay. <laughs> oh, what is your right sign? Charming. Yeah, okay. what is it? Yeah, for real. Like, for real. What is the right sign? Because you're asking. Stop, sorry. All... No, I'm just playing. I, I don't know. I'm just listening. Number one, Herb. See, there you go. I think uh, a red flag is that I'm nonchalant. I believe, yeah. You're nonchalant. Damn, what's that sign for? Oh, my nonchalant. goodness. Okay, and what's your. Um, I'm, a tw I'm, a, I'm a Taurus. Two, okay, two Taurus, okay. Okay. We got some bullheaded ones over there. Okay. Which of those answers was the worst in your opinion? Can I? The nonchalant? Answer? Yeah, God, nonchalant for me. Just because nonchalant. I don't, I want you to care. And I hate when it's coming across like I'm not being I don't like people who want me to care about kind of things that I do not care about. Like, I don't yeah, really care. That's just, for me, I don't really like that. He doesn't care. I care. That's I... because of... Whatever. <laughs> Wow, oh, this guy is like, awesome. Like you don't care. Like, mm -hmm. why are you here, Mr. Nonchalant? Like, why are you here? <laughs> I'm just saying. Most women will be like that. They want a guy that's going to talk. Yeah. Even though the one that said he talks too much, but a woman is going to absorb that and love it. I'm going to get eliminated. <laughs> I'm going to eliminate Herb because he reminds me of my son. Kick bag. X, X, X. Wait, Come on now. Do they still get normalized if you mute it? Yeah, it's not nice to play. Okay, wait. X. Come on now. Come on, X. Come on. How are you doing? Good, how are you, see? <laughs> That's a boy. Like your son? Like, like your son? Yeah, I'm a son. Yeah. You do seem like a really nice guy, though, but yes. you know. But just the nonchalant thing was kind of... Not just that. It's, a, it's just, I was screwing my hair in my son, and I oh. just wanted to like... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Dwayne's a lot. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, her. This way, this way. Mm, I love that. <laughs> Her's cute. He's handsome. Cute <laughs> man. Just, yeah, he reminds me kind of my brother too when I try to. Okay, let's go. Okay, Rashawn, what is your biggest kink? My biggest kink? So I like to role play, you know what I'm saying? You know, I like to get on beach. We could go anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What does <laughs> movie theater type shit? I mean, I know your mom used to be a little freaky back in the day. Whoa! <laughs> no, I'm just like, no. Can you play around? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, maybe this question is... <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. It's like okay, they come off the seat of confidence. Kenny. My two kinks would probably be using handcuffs to have control and hotel sex, and I will always get my money's worth. What did this man just say? And I will Probably be using handcuffs to. He said the novel version of I sleep with escorts. I'll always get my money's worth. Have control. My two kinks would probably be using handcuffs to have control and hotel sex, and I'll always get my money's worth. Escorts. What money to do with this? Escorts. It's weed eating. It's weed eating. We got the weed kit. Okay. Okay. Jesus, mom has a hourglass. Shape body, girl has the girl has amazing snippets. Jesus. Next one. Oh, oh, Chaz. I'm not comfortable sharing any of that on the internet. Because yeah, um, I'm into some weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not putting none of that shit on the internet. <laughs> Why did you have to say it like that? <laughs> I, at first, at first, mom was like, nice. <laughs> I think I can respect it, but now I'm curious. I'm, still curious. I'm just like, what is the weird? Gotcha. You got gotcha, bitch. <laughs> now is Ty. Shit, I like to get physical. You know, pull hair a little bit, uh, slap around. I mean, nothing crazy. He's white. Ooh, we know pulling. <laughs> Touching my hair. Yeah, that's like a black woman's hair and <laughs> slap her, and then you said nothing <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? It <laughs> <laughs> They're just all freaks. 
Chaz almost he almost was there and then he just divulged. Almost weird. I didn't say nothing. I didn't divulge nothing. Who's it gonna be? I am going to eliminate Don't chat. Rashawn. I think he's five. You got to go, buddy. Oh, hi. She's cute, cute, cute. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, she's a cute girl on there. Oh, yeah, she's cute. I wanna get I wanna get your vibe too from him. But he seems nice. I don't know if I would go up to him like in the out like typically, but you know, it's not bad looking. No, he's not bad looking. What was the deciding factor in eliminating Rashawn? Just that movie theater sex thing. He said something about doing it in the theater or something. He said kinky. You was super kinky. This my baby. So I was okay. like, I don't want to hear that. And they're talking about mom must be kinky. No, I ain't oh, did no yeah. movie theater stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe you should have tried. All right. So, Ty, where, where would you take my daughter on her first date? You know, I'd probably wait a month. A little tacos and tequila after that. You know, can't go wrong with Mexican food. I think that's a little too long to ask someone out on a date. Didn't you say you turned 21 in a month? Oh, I guess there's that. Well, <laughs> hey, I was actually, thinking. Okay, he remembered that. Yeah. Because he's being mindful. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's okay. good. Okay. I like that. Okay, Ty. All right. Let's chess. Majority of my friends are professional MMA fighters, professional kickboxers. Stuff like that. Um, you've probably never experienced watching a cage fight like ringside or cage side. So we'd probably do that. For sure. Us. But it's I feel like in that setting, we can't really talk or get to know each other much for a first date. So talking that's is thing. I know it would be really fun. In that case, in that case, somewhere where we can kind of talk and get to know each other better. Inside the cage. <laughs> what did he say? Uh, kind of talk and get to know each other better. The gun range. Uh, do you know how loud it is there? I mean, you, you it's have, not even you have a private one. I mean, I understand. Like, he does not want to sit down and talk. It's it's so. Thing is, it's not it's typical. Easy. Besides typical, it's not easy to just sit down and look at someone in the eye and no, it, talk it to them. It actually is for the first time. It, it actually is. It's, it's it actually is because. I think, me <laughs> going to someone like a stranger that's yeah. hard. But if you already know pers the person or you, it's a date, that's not that hard. Yeah, that's what they said the first date. Yeah, the first date. To sit down and look at and just talk. It's talk, not that talk. hard because we've already spoken to the person. When and I, when? When's I've the first time you see each other? Yeah, but you've spoken prior. As opposed to going to a girl and flirting and whatnot, getting the number. That's a bit harder. But if you've already spoken that, hey, you're going to go on a date, then that's not too hard. It's not too hard, but what I'm saying is that when you in the midst of an activity or whatever, you kind of like let loose... So you, it's not like conversation. I need to say the right thing, and you know. Never gone to the gun range. So that would so, be fun. Yeah. I've gone once. Okay. For me, I try to like bring people to things that they haven't seen before. You know what I mean? Or that they, they're not, you know. It provides an experience. Okay. This guy loves like bitches. That. Good answer, and Kenny. Assuming I got to know her a little bit better, I would know what her favorite style of food is. So whether it be like Mexican, Italian, sushi, something like that. And for a first date, I would take her somewhere that had drinks and her favorite um, culture of food, um, hope, and probably a place that she'd never been before that I knew of, um, and that way we could get to know each other a little bit better. So what are you going to do? I Where like have you never Kenny. been? Yeah. Kenny, that Wait, was good. Yeah, that I was, like that. You been raised up. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny's moving on up. I like that he cares what my favorite food is, like, is going to be or whatever. I like that. Do you so. care what her favorite food is? No. Yes. So, so Ty, well, how would you defend my daughter? Like, if somebody I just was inappropriate at a club, like, fun. what would you do? Well, I'm definitely fighting that guy. Uh, I think that's the only answer. Uh, you know, I got a good group of boys. Pretty intimidating. I think that... Why am I involved in it? It's your girl. Slap the guy. Why am I involved? And where are you fighting your boys? Where are you going to call your boys? It's combat's the best way to solve it right there and then. Okay. Oh, you would skip the talking? Or... What are we talking I about? I mean, he's in trouble. Do. Like, if he's fighting someone... I mean, shit, if, like, the guy was inappropriate and took it too far, then, yeah, it's on site. Oh, okay, Ty. Okay. It's kind of aggressive. <laughs> I'm like, can we talk first? What are we talking like, about? You know, Here I'd probably get really scared, because I hope Ty can fight if he's saying that. I hope he's not one of those guys that would just try to pick out a fight and then get toe up. Like, that would be horrible. <laughs> that would get embarrassing really fast. But I would be, like, probably, like, babe, babe, like, stop. Because he'd be like, you know, boyfriend. You know, I just, I don't like the violent stuff. I would try to stop him, maybe a little bit. 
All right, Chaz. So I'd verbally address the guy first because I'm not trying to go to jail. But at the end of the day, like I said that my closest friends are all professional fighters because I used to train on one of the best MMA teams in the country. If it comes to that and I have to like deal with him physically, I'm just going to tie him, take him to the ground and tie his body up in a pretzel. And literally that's going to be that. I would feel safe around him. And then Kenny. Assuming your daughter is beautiful, I know she probably gets um, unwanted attention or probably awkward situations a lot because that's how it is for beautiful women in public spaces. So I'm not trying to fight every single person that maybe does the wrong thing. However, if the situation escalates, we can definitely handle that. If we're in a club setting, probably get security. But if there's nothing around, then it's just me versus him and that's what it needs to be. Okay. Oh, straight to the point, didn't stutter. I like that. Good answer. Yeah. The person I'm going to eliminate is Chaz. All right. Hey, how's it going? How's Good. it going? What did we what think about? What posture is this? Um, he's tall. She's stuck on height. Okay, that's no. that's that's okay. I like his outfit. The contentious elimination, like you didn't agree with. Yeah, I'd say so. And why did you want to keep Chaz? Well, he seemed really nice. Like his responses were good. His, you know. I don't know, he seems nice. Oh, uh, I mean, he seems like a nice young man. <laughs> I'm not. You said I'm not? I'm not. Oh, then that we I made the right choice. I Absolutely. think you did. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. When I said, oh, he looks like a nice young man, he said, I'm not. I'm like, oh, okay, no. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I made the right choice. How did your last relationship end? What did you do? What? <laughs> Neither of us really did anything that was that, like, crazy we were dating for five years but we met in college and as we got older we just kind of grew apart i'm like five years huh? i know i was like, trying to figure out how just old like, you are. why you waste my time well no but sometimes it doesn't work out five years like you meet someone Man, um you like when you're a sophomore in college and then when you're when, when, you, when you graduate and you move into your career sometimes you just grow apart okay it happens yeah especially when you're young so yeah. Yeah. Were both of you loyal within that relationship? Yeah, both of us were. So, what do you think? What do you think Gone. made her grow up? Good. Good. Same question. <laughs> it's this uh, new baby. Yeah, my last relationship started as like a COVID lockdown fling. And so uh, we kind of realized we were two different people. Yeah, uh, she kind of came party. crazy. Maybe I got a little crazy. Um, but I was young, so that was years ago. Yeah, just doing something. Doing, doing something? Yeah. Well, I. I was wanting to know what does he mean by well, what do you mean by crazy? Um, I don't know, just a little toxic. Like she would start to do things to like piss me off. Most toxic thing I did one time I went through her phone. But yeah, that was probably the most toxic That's thing. Not toxic. Did she That's know you went through behavior. her phone? Uh, eventually, yeah, eventually I came clean with it, but yes. at the time, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't okay. know how I feel about that one because it's just a huge invasion hey, of young. privacy. I mean, she's never That's even gone good. through my phone. I won't even go through a man's phone. And yeah. don't go through my phone because you you may see something that's perfectly innocent, but it may not look innocent. So I, I don't, don't touch Spoken my like stuff a true and vice versa. That's so I, I mean, he said he was young when he did that, so I don't know. <laughs> Where did you learn that from? To like, check phones? Yeah, who does that? I mean, people <laughs> do that. I don't know. I people do never that, but that. I've never done that, but... I guess. So, in your opinion, why should someone date your daughter? What kind of a she's dumb driven, question is that? She's God fearing. She ain't a hoe. <laughs> and um, how do you know? And that? she's not. I, I know. <laughs> Why do you know that? <laughs> like that should not be your words to describe me. <laughs> the person that I'm gonna eliminate is. Say it with your chest. Yeah, say it with your chest. The person <laughs> that I'm gonna eliminate is Ty. Ooh, how's it going? Good, how are you? Nice, nice to meet you guys. guys. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you, Mom. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah, beautiful ladies. He's handsome. He's, he's cute. He's tall. He, yeah. Oh, that phone thing. Like, oh, it oh, was that. Like, I forgot I'm about like, that. I'm like, no, we, we can't trust you. Oh, you. You don't want to be sniffing panties and stuff. Wait, no. Mom. No, no, no. <laughs> how did you know that? I'm just saying. I'm like, you should check the phone. Why was she small? I'm sorry. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Am I happy with my decision? Physically? Yeah, I mean, he's handsome. I just, you know, the little questions like, you know. I cannot believe you just said that. I don't know, because I the phone thing just threw me off. I do respect your decision. He is attractive, so that's the, you know. Yeah, yeah. But with the phone thing, yeah. I'm nervous. Right. He's good. He's going to be good. Oh, oh, yes. oh, 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 oh,
this guy looks like on a sweatshirt. Yeah, he's like Good, a nice how are you? My mom would love you. You were like such a nice I'm not black enough like, to make like, his feeling. Are you happy? Yeah, you're too much. He's tall. Yeah, I'm happy. Hercules. 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 Okay. Oh, oh, oh. It's not your guy. Oh, no, you're not your guy. Mom but is playing. But wait, did I do well? You did. She did do well. I would definitely take her out, yeah. Possibly. You say possibly. Yeah, possibly if he's serious. I don't know if he's serious. Of course, I'd love to go out with him. Possibly. Yes, no. You better speak up. <laughs> oh my god. I like him. Oh, oh, shit. oh yeah. <laughs> Let me get your IG. Okay. <laughs> you better speak up. <laughs> and then we have to come back and do one for adults. <laughs> adults. What the fella I love hey. mom. Oh, this yeah. was a cool episode. It was entertaining. It was a cool episode. Kickback never disappoints. Yeah, yeah, it was entertaining. Shout out to Kickback, man. Yeah. Uh, go subscribe to them. Subscribe to us. Mm -hmm. Let's get to these thousand subs. Like, give us suggestions in the comments. Yep. Let's talk. Let's engage. See you guys later.